what school you went to, but we didn't learn anything in school about childbirth except for that women just scream the entire time. Going into the class, I don't think we knew that much. We, <laughs> we didn't know anything. Yeah, we, we really didn't. Yeah, we definitely thought we knew a lot about the birthing process from school and the limited amount of reading we had done before the class. But once we took the class, we realized how far behind we were. Janine and I were scouring uh, books and blog posts and all that kind of stuff. And it was almost an overload of information. My birth IQ was definitely higher after. And I think the fact that I was able to retain more of the important information is because I understood how I was going to apply it as opposed to just memorizing it. There was things that I had never even knew about that I learned in class that just blew my mind. And one thing that Gail's class helped us do was to kind of pull all that together, synthesize it, uh, and really kind of uh, turn that into usable knowledge. Gail so personable, it was very one-on-one. -on -one. We could ask questions, you didn't feel funny about anything, and, and she was so thorough about everything, and she gives you the pros and cons on everything. Um, I definitely felt leaving there so much more confident going into it. We took our childbirth IQ test and we got a pretty decent score. We got a 10 out of 12, not too bad. I think had we taken that quiz before Gail's classes though, uh, it would have been pretty bad. I don't know, what do you think we would have gotten? Uh, probably two or three, maybe. Maybe, yeah. All of the knowledge that we gained from Gail's class, we used. It was part of our daily conversations. It went with us through the entire birth process. Information is just information unless you're actually applying it and planning to take action on it. And I feel like taking the class helped me understand it from a bigger point of view and figure out how, how could we take all the things that we learned in the class and from other things that we had researched and put it into an action plan that we both felt comfortable with. I knew that if I was more informed, I would be less anxious. So as opposed to the ignorance is bliss, we were trying to go more with the, you know, I guess knowledge, knowledge is power, is power. <laughs> type approach. Just to learn a little bit more about, you know, the medical model and what are the risks associated with that model and um, the benefits to that model and the different interventions that are available. I think from my perspective, we were trying to be active participants in the entire process. You know, you wouldn't do anything in life without researching it. Instead of reading something um, and having a question come up but nowhere to go with it, you know, we can just ask the question in real time. I felt excited about going to her class to talk about the things we had learned and discussed the week before. One of the things with Gail's class in particular was it wasn't a particular method, right? It wasn't this strict rule-based you know, you have to follow these things in exactly this order or you're gonna fail. And then if certain interventions were necessary, then I would have known that, okay, this is what we have to do in the moment because it makes sense. And if something didn't happen the way that we had thought or wanted it to happen, we were okay with it because we knew we and we understood what would happen and how the procedure would work and what would be the next step already. And we didn't just go in and blindfolded and had no clue and just let you know our doctors just do whatever they wanted with us. If I hadn't reached my goal, then obviously something would have progressed differently than, than we were hoping for. But I think taking Gail's class helped us understand that that's okay, right? It's not the end of the world. And if something needs to be done, you you need to vet it in the moment, right? Is this my only choice? Is this my only option? And ask the why questions, which I think most people are afraid to do. We both wanted to feel like a, we were a part of the process and not just going along for the ride. So if something did come up, which it did, a few things came up that we had to make decisions about throughout the process. And we, we felt informed. We felt like we could make the best, most educated choice for ourselves, for our baby. I was strong enough to let everybody know that I was intending on doing a VBAC, that I was not doing another C-section, unless of course it was a life or death situation. It really helped open all of our eyes, my sister as well, because she had birthed my niece uh, three years ago, and her version of delivery was very um, to the book, medical procedures, <laughs> to the T. Doctors, they were pretty Nobody insistent. wanted to let her do it. Like she, They were telling her like it wasn't her choice. Um, but because she was knowledgeable enough. From what we learned from Gail, including, you know, medical interventions that could happen during birth, 
really helped me see the bigger picture and understand that they are all tools in the toolkit and when and why we might need to use various ones versus others or not at all. I didn't want to go in there feeling like I wanted control but didn't have the education to back up the decision making um, process. I'm very thankful that we took the class because I was able to understand what was happening to me and really advocate for myself. We went through it and successfully had a second one natural, not one drug, not one intervention. Um, so going in and knowing that you have other options and knowing what the options are, not being confused, that, that just helped us a whole lot. Not that I was being told what to do or how to do things or how to labor. Um, I, was, I felt very in control. You will come out of the class with um, tool sets that can provide you what you want and how you want to deal with different um, situations as they arise. My goal was to have a natural childbirth and have um, a safe birth for myself and my child and that's exactly what we ended up with. And I really felt that I had a voice and I was a big part of my own experience. Everything went so, so well that we can only attribute that to being in Gail's class. And it was probably the best experience we ever had. Yeah, I would say so. It was, it was all because of the class. And I don't think there's really anything else out there that gives you this tremendously diverse perspective where you don't need to choose a method up front because how do you know what's gonna be right for you? And I really appreciated that Gail pulled in all different avenues to help us figure that out. And the whole process was the, you know, the opposite of what I thought I was going into with the a Lamaze type situation Definitely. and I, I really I really benefited from it and I think we both agree that it definitely wouldn't have gone as smoothly without this education yeah I thought that was a, that was a poignant moment for me when Gail said that uh, you know what, what would the objective be the objective be would be to come out the other side with no regrets yeah and that uh, that was palpable and we did and if the conclusion was that absolutely a natural childbirth couldn't happen for us, at least we would have been confident that we had done everything we could have done and asked all the right questions. And that confidence that we acquired during that process with this knowledge, I think makes us better parents or at least gives us more confidence to take on the challenges of parenthood. <laughs> I love my birth story. I love my experience. And doing this class was, um, a big portion of what helped me get through it and enjoy it. It was it was a very emotional sort of experience. I remember leaving the last class saying goodbye to Gail and sort of having to swallow back the tears kind of thing because I just I became very emotional. I felt like this was the first step that we were really taking, the first real step toward giving our child a voice. It was sort of step one of I want to take control because I'm this child's mother. This class gave me a lot of confidence and it also, you know, gave me a mentor in Gail as well. That even beyond our birth class, I knew if I had a question or an issue that she was going to be there as a tremendous resource for me and that was huge. So I want to say thank you very much, Gail, for all your information and your help. You're very genuine and I felt that um, I was as important, my birth and my experience was as important um, to you as it is to me. Thank you.